And the reason I stopped you is because your registration expired in March, and we're now in May. Oh, what? Yeah. Okay. And you got to wear your got to wear your seatbelt. Yeah. It's click it or ticket. So it's really important. I strangely enough just. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're Frank. I am. <laughs> I am, and you should. Was it my Frank? You should know that. So, so I know you won't give me a ticket for my seatbelt, right? Oh, I'm 100% going to give you a ticket for your seatbelt. Just as sure as I'm standing here. I was actually, I was having a conversation this morning with someone from the National Transportation Safety Board, and they commented that we're coming into the click it or ticket time of year, and that occupant safety is uh, on one of their big most wanted lists for, for things that they really focus on. Oh, you see me on video, you got to know that I, I write lots of people tickets for not wearing their seatbelt. Sorry, buddy. I just moved out here. That's okay. I guarantee that wherever you came from, you had to wear your seatbelt there too. As I'm contacting people, um, sometimes for the, the most innocuous violation, you know, a, a crack windshield or no mud flaps, um, and I see that they're not wearing their seatbelt, a lot of the time I'll give them a warning um, for whatever I stopped them for and cite the violation for not wearing a seatbelt. Hello. All right, let's take care of some business here. Yeah, I'm really honored. I was watching videos of you. Wa you're watching videos of me while I'm here writing you tickets? But hey, get us, woo! That's crazy. Hey, I'm honored to get pulled over by you. Well, thank you, man. You know who I love the most? Who? Lamb. Well, uh, I mean, he is, he is a char that. he's a charismatic human. All right, any idea why I might have stopped you today? Uh, I've seen your videos. I, I assume there's- You a have? Yes. Have, uh, did you happen to watch the mud flap special? I did. I knew it was going to happen, I'm sorry. And here we are. Yeah, and here we are. And you got to wear your seatbelt, man. Uh, yeah. We did it. We did a seatbelt special, too. It's just about that time for a click it or ticket. It's a okay. national campaign on occupant safety. Uh, in the state of Arizona, seatbelts are a secondary offense. So it's not something that we can stop someone for, but it is something that we can address after, uh, after an initial stop. So stop us for mud flaps. I go up there, no seatbelt. Um, is a secondary violation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to issue him a citation for not wearing a seatbelt because occupant safety and occupant protection is a big deal for us. So we're going to give you an in-person warning okay. as opposed to the internet warning for no mud flaps. You're going to get an in-person warning for no mud flaps, okay? I'm not going to write you a ticket for it. It's not something I typically write tickets for. What I'm going to do is I'm going to document that I gave you a warning for it. If you, get, if you happen to get stopped for it again, then we're gonna put pen to paper. Occupant protection is a big deal for us. So you, what your citation today is gonna be for is for lap and shoulder belts being required, okay? Does that seem pretty fair? The reason I stopped you is you're 52 miles an hour back there and you're a lifted truck, you don't have any mud flaps. Okay. So, and you gotta wear your seatbelt. Seatbelts are important. He's wearing his seatbelt. Nice job. Nice job keeping yourself safe. Once I get up to the window, if someone's not wearing a seatbelt, I'm going to issue a citation for it. Um, that's 100% of the time I, I don't give. There's no warnings for seat, no seatbelt. The reason I stopped you is you were 52 and a 35, so you're 16 over or 17 over. Um, posted is what is 35. RMP stands for reasonable and prudent. Yep. Well, well, it's more than that. It's no, that that is not 52. I promise. And you're going into a 45 mile an hour zone here. So this is 45 once you get around the corner here. Um, so. 52 into 35, RMP stands for reasonable and prudent, which for you is zero, because you're not wearing your seatbelt, so you shouldn't be operating your vehicle. All right, now make sure you wear your seatbelt, it's important, and we're gonna be around here. We didn't have it too. You know what? Get em. Get em. Sometimes you gotta take responsibility for yourself, man. I'll hold everyone else accountable. After I stop you for multiple violations, pointing out every car that drives by and saying, well, they're going fast, well, they're going fast, like, what's the point of that? Like, you're speeding, you're 17 over. Just accept responsibility for it instead of pointing out everyone else. Like, when you're fishing, right, you've got one line. You cast it out, boom, you hook a fish. If 20 other fish jump out, you're not going to cut your line to go cast after that fish. You're going to deal with the fish that you've hooked. Well, he was my fish. And I've dealt with him. I've now released him back into the wild. And now I can go get another one. I don't understand people.